All right, in we go. It's, it's <laughs> time to get a class, I suppose. What, what the um, hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that. True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Oh, dude. So is a bully a victim? You're both losers. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least Dude. my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Oh, gosh. Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job Quite at the big, shipyard big when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. Oh, dude. You're a piece of shit. I am going Stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop! He Please, seems like he has something. it a little bit more together this time. Watching. Like, he had it. <sighs> Fine, I'll step in. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Bring on the markers. Leave, Leave. now. Oh, oh now. crap. You're actually standing up for Nathan Prescott? Uh, Nathan's an easy target. How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. Ooh. You're such a crazy Emasculating freak. Ken. Mind your wow. own business. I'm crazy, that's true. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You Dude. want a piece of this? No. A piece of cake. Please. Kicking your ass is going to be a piece of cake. You think this is funny? You you think I'm joking here? Yeah. Think? I think we're done. If you were going I win. To throw oh, down, yes. You have <laughs> I was stressed out. This clown show is over. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You fresh shut the fuck meat. up. Go, Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take you really shouldn't be picking on him in the first place, dude. Are you okay? I know that he's you messed up, but from you, you're welcome. Are you all right? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Yeah, he he is still messed up. Everything okay here? Yeah. <laughs> no problem, Skip. Got it. Can we now please get to class? Yep. Hey, Mom. Glad we talked. Me too. Oh, she's... I know you're doing your best. Love you. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Mom. Alright. Uh, let's keep going, then. Time to get into class, I suppose? Yeah, there was this thing that we could tag about drama nerds, but uh, apparently not here, right? Drama nerds and a moving canvas. Neither of these. More that anti drugs. That would actually make a sweet tattoo. <laughs> well, I, yes, yes. Not gonna lie, it would actually be very cool as that tattoo to sign. Oh, hey, Rachel. Oh, good. You're here. Oh. Uh, Oh, good. We're, we're here. What? 
I'm confuzzled, but okay. I do beseech you. Oh, drama club. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father. I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Wait, what? Many what a time, happening? the harmony of their tongues... Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had <laughs> weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton. Oh, okay. Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. Yeah. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, goodlier. does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, no. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? I, uh, don't know anything. Uh, Miranda's an idiot. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. What is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15. So your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. <laughs> like, See you later, I don't guys. believe that falling in love is for idiots. I, have first I just believe that the that's a whole thing to say. And I also believe that um, whatever I was trying to say was that they were not really in love. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. Yeah. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, I don't could you guys have help any me? clue. I think it's in my bag over there. Do okay, uh, running errands for yeah, Rachel now? Yeah. Sure. We heard. <laughs> okay, okay, so this is the drama yeah. nerd's place. Get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. Sweet collar, Pepe. Pepe. Posters. Tons of Should posters. Be. Life is drama. Yeah. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the the Tempest. Yeah, that, that's like a Chloe thing. I guess the just weapons. Scott donation doesn't cover this. <laughs> for pencils? Nah, they have bigger stuff to pay for, like you know, just the stuffs. Uh. Is she, Rachel like, asked me to get her belt. I guess it's in the other room. I guess she's changing. So we're not gonna do that. <laughs> Notes. Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. Where are all the pencils? I know it was you, Hayden. <laughs> oh, this is the graffiti. Got it. Drama nerds. Uh, Halo for Rachel or Horns and Ethan. Uh, Halo for Rachel. I want to focus on the positive. Just the opposite of what Chloe has been doing the past two years. Not healthy. I love Rob. Save my life. Get some ink. Yeah. Dramatis personae. Cool. Another note? I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Dana, you are very beautiful. You want to go out? I... I would be into that. Logan, guess who? Logan, uh, guess who? What an idiot. <laughs> if you're gonna cross your name out, make sure you cannot read it. There must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Probably not. There's, there's plenty of students to go around. 
Probably the only one that you know that is not in the show. Though. Hey now, sharing is caring. <laughs> Pencils for stage manager only, also known as Steph. Hey, I like getting to know Steph a little bit more. To internet or not to internet? Let's internet. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. This is the exact same post, right? Yep. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? I wouldn't be able to tell ya. Rachel Amber playing Prospera. A newcomer to Blackwell Academy, Rachel Amber blew the doors off her edition with a heartbreaking reading of Blanche from Tennessee Williams' a streetcar named this Desiree. Other interests include athletics, debate team, boosters, fundraising, local history, and nature. Rachel hopes to one day grace the stages of Broadway and the silver screen of Hollywood. Nathan Prescott playing Caliban, a favorite son of the oldest and most influential family in Arcata Bay. Nathan hopes this performance of The Tempest will only further the legacy of the Prescott name of Blackwell Academy. Playing Caliban has been a challenge for the sophomore who enjoys sports, photography, and casual hangouts with his many friends. Dana Ward playing Miranda. A sophomore, Dana has performed in two other productions at Blackwell Academy since her freshman year. Dana enjoys football, go Bigfoots, social media, and school dances. She hopes to be a member of the Vortex Club when she's a senior. And Hayden Jones playing Ferdinand. This show marks the introduction of Hayden Jones to Blackwell Academy's drama club. He auditioned on a dare and, as it turns out, actually really digs acting. A sophomore, his other interests include playing sports, hair. Hairballs? You mean gerbils? And taking long walks in the woods. Sure, I believe that. Juliet Watson playing Ariel. Juliet's primary interests include journalism and social activism, but she's a very excited no, she is very excited to be debuting this spring in the role of Ariel. The capricious and powerful spirit Prospera has enchanted and bound to do her magical bidding. And Travis Keaton directing. A veteran of Broadway, Travis Wilbury Keaton serves the prestigious Blackwell Academy as a teacher of the dramatic arts, mentor and friend. He hopes to humble and reinterpretation of Shakespeare's masterpiece can inspire the next generation of the country's leaders to strive for greatness and never forget his motto, Ars Grantia, oh, Ars Gratia Artis. I don't know what that means, it's Latin, I really don't know what it means. If you know, please enlighten me. I, I like learning. Stage manager Steph uh, Gingrich. Tech crew Adam Glenn, Gina Yao, Stella Hill, Jason Redford, sound design Brooke Scott, program cover poster Evan Harris. Special thanks to Principal Wells, Rose Amber, Caroline Prescott, Helen Christensen, Bernadette Hoyda, Samuel Taylor, and especially the Prescott Foundation. Obviously. Uh, obviously. This poster definitely says. Something. It says quell. That's the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. So is this where the belt is? It is a very Chloe type of style, honestly. Uh, this is Rachel not a belt. Rachel so happy here. Yeah. Also, this is not a belt. Just put it back. There's Rachel's belt. Yep, that's a belt. If I've ever seen one, that's a Guess belt. I'll go give this to Rachel now. Yeah, sure. Is there anything else for me to check? Oh, hello. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. Yeah. Comment. What are we gonna write in it? Will this have consequences? I think say? it might. What to say? Oh, I have the options here. Uh, bitter much? I mean, slut shaming too. You know, it's uh, Playing the part not cool of to the do that. But passed over talentless hack, VC. There we go, Victoria Chase. Suck a dick, uh, VC. <laughs> This is not the mobile thing that we were talking about before, right? Nope, moving canvas is not it. We got the halo <laughs> right there. Okay, so next up is a moving canvas and then a dead white guy, which means uh, the skeleton, obviously. 
<laughs> they didn't. They didn't want to make it extremely obvious, so they just phrased it weirdly. Uh, Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, bring it to her. Why? Why would I like? I know Chloe's a little bit freaked out, but just take it to her. That was a cool I costume. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? I don't know the shtick. Just uh, a belt. How about a belt instead? Perfect. There you go. I'll let you finish Smooth. changing now. See? Nothing wrong with it. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Yeah. Last night was amazing. <laughs> Firewalk was pretty good. <laughs> I, I've never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have yeah. to do it again. To tell Obviously. the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I <laughs> thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it Maybe doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. <laughs> She's How super you awkward, dude. Join me on a little field trip. Ooh, ditch in class? Has Rachel Amber gone rogue? Ditch class? You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. Yeah. I hoped you'd say that. Just cut me off guard coming from some that well, someone that people say it's spot. perfect. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Uh, sure, great idea. Everyone yes, has been hassling please. me about it. People won't shut up about it. First it was mom, then it was David, then it was uh, the security officer, it was also uh, Elliot, and uh, like pretty much everybody. <laughs> Thanks. This is a lot of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. Wait, what? What are you doing? Are you putting shadow on me? Much better. Oh, no. I guess oh, it was shit. just foundation and... Yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. I, for some reason I thought that was a nice shadow palette. <laughs> it looked kind of like it. I guess. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was just like, okay, loading screen. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna get rogue, we're doing it right. Okay, but I, I get to graffiti it. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? <laughs> Once again, with the train. Chloe really needs to not go near trains anymore. She's forbidden from riding Where a train. Does this thing go? No. Forbidden from going near a train in general. North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Well, no. Don't think so, but okay. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. It really is very cool to look at nature just like that. We got a text. Hey, why weren't you and Kim? Everything okay? Nope. Yup. What happened with Drew? People say you were awesome. Yo, let's talk later. Okay. Yeah, man, give me some space, please. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Yeah. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. Obviously. I wonder what the symbols mean. All my idols are dead? What are you freaking doing? Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That... Totally checks out. Shipper, widgets are a 601 Highway 36th Street, Lower Moreland, Pasadena? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm not from the US. I, I, I have absolutely no idea what every state shortens to. 
Gunsigny, Hoggins Hardware, 22nd Main Street, Unity, Oregon, zip code. Date, June 16th, 2010. Notice of termination, Prescott Foundation. Got some cargo. I feel pretty confident there's going to be a dead body in here. 100% for sure. Obviously, dead body is gonna be there. Uh, wait. The graffiti! Uh, uh, I want to do it. But, but don't sit down just yet. No! I can graffiti the, the other thing. Than it looks. Yeah, I can I can graffiti the thing on the Guess back. Don't, sit, don't down. sit down. No, no. Graffiti. Ah. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Poetry is the way. Graffiti it. Yeah, nobody's watching you inside of the friggin' train. Only Amber. Everybody lies. It's the truth. Pretty much everybody lies. Everybody lies. I like that. Yep. Yeah. Be it white lies, or be it like... Everybody lies! Mulligan stew! And that's a mobile. Yeah, okay. Next up is the skeleton. Probably detention at school because we skipped again. Then Happy Brad and the old car, and that will be it for episode one. Alright, Rachel, can I like Just look at you? Typical day, skipping school with Rachel Amber. Yeah. Let's sit then. Alright, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Still a teenager, still worrying about what others is think this about you. Nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Yeah, Max was nervous pretty much Should all the time. I make Remember? Small talk? Is that what people do? Not really, if you don't feel like talking. Say nothing. She can make the first move. So. Okay. It's kind of weird that we're hanging out. Yeah. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well. What do you mean? I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name is Max, but she left yeah. for greener, more northern pastures. That <laughs> sucks. It does. Say thanks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. <laughs> thanks for last night. Uh, <laughs> no, dummy. If you hadn't shown up. Very punk of you. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. Yeah. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting nah. I should need a reason to ditch school? <laughs> I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Are you lonely? I love company. Get to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? Heck you yeah. don't? She does. She really hates it there. Right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Yet. I like the way that she turned around. Fun. Usually the you don't know me agree. Flirt. Uh flirt. You're hey, awkward at that. So let's do that. Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play two truths. That's definitely and a lie. super awkward. <laughs> it's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves. Two of which I like are this truth, type of game. And one of which is a lie. It can also be very lie. awkward. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Right. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. You're on. I mean, 
Part of the fun stuff about this is that you get to project part of you into a character that you like. Especially I'll Chloe start. that we've known First, from the previous game, so... Ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway. To which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. Yeah. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? <laughs> Kathmandu? Kathmandu? It's not... <laughs> One day, I'm going to climb Everest. Oh, she has ambitions. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. Yeah. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, okay. ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, so, which is the lie? You were not born in New York. You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price. Not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast <laughs> is the best coast. Dude, I'm I've good. I've never lived in Oregon, so... Nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Maybe. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Okay. Do I get to Something choose these? Myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Nah. Okay, one truth. Uh, I wanted to be as a, a pirate. I used as a kid. to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. Now a lie. Um, I'm allergic to cats. It's sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. <laughs> Don't say swear. And the truth. I love science. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. Oh, he rocks. He's cool. Call me out, then. Which one's a lie? You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. <laughs> anyway, Max says this too! Of course you want to be a pirate. Sail the open seas, buckle swash, plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> <laughs> so, pirate, obviously true. Yeah, that was a double entendre, obviously. <laughs> I'm going the full flirt route this time. I'm sorry to Max, but that still happens in my head cannon. Be my first mate? Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Alright, so okay. that was a truth. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. Second one. Blackwell's a hellhole. That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, <laughs> school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Okay. That means the lie is... Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic, but I've passed by your locker a few times, and I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. <laughs> oh, his name was Bongo. His name was Bongo. Let's talk about it. It was a gift from my dad. Did he pass away? No. Yeah. My dad died two years ago. She's I probably asking about the cat, though. I meant Bongo. Oh yep. my god, <laughs> of course, that's what you meant. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year. <laughs> Definitely. 
So, Sorry. if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. The way that you're what? supposed to play. You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. I was a good too. A time of studying the human condition. I'm impressed. Well, I'm impressed. I, I actually. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe too. Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Um. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call. Yeah, for pressure. Out of the ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. <laughs> hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not yeah. everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. <laughs> My patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. Yeah. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. It's not That's a big deal. Fine. Hate to break it to you. Hey, I guess. Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. <laughs> uh, well, I trust I'm you. She's not really into touchy feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. It's hard yeah. to open up I to people on whenever you're, you, you know, didn't I? hurt. Fair point. And Chloe is very hurt. What I feel a lot of tension in these looks. The share with Rachel. Hey, wanna listen? We have similar tastes. We were both at the firewalk thing, so why not? Let's share in the music and just watch the world around us burning in our imaginations, because apparently they both hate Arcadia Bay. Also, once again, copyright is a thing, so I'm sorry, I am replacing these songs with non-copyright infringing songs. I will wait it out. In the meantime, I can tell you that I know how hard it is to open up to new people. Uh, I try to be an open book whenever I meet someone that I am interested in keeping in my life, be it as a friend, or just like, acquaintance, just people that I want to hang around. Uh, for a bit, stuff like that. I just make sure to be an open book if they want to know something about me specifically and they ask, I tell them. I try not to keep a lot of secrets. Uh, it's worked good enough for me the past few years. Uh, before that, I was an oversharing person. Whenever someone asked something of me or about me, I tended to overshare. And that usually doesn't go well with people because they think that you may have some issues. That you have to let people get to know you before they get to know you. And that, I don't mean that as in you should be a fake person. Rather, I mean that as in, uh, usually, you have to give people a little, a little bit of time to decide if they want you in their lives as well. It's, it's a complication of human relationships that we're not all ready to compromise ourselves or to, you know, create this sort of connection with people so readily. Especially people that are introverts, like I am. Uh, I long. I am. I'm what people call an extroverted introvert. I long for connection with people. Uh, spending time with other people really fills me and with energy and makes me feel good. But it's so hard for me to get out of my comfort zone and get to know new people, and it just makes me extremely tired whenever I have to wait for other people to be ready to engage and, and stuff like that. It's 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 kind of weird to explain, honestly, but that's that's the way that I am. And some people have that complication and with you know trying to establish meaningful relationships with others. Uh, maybe you come off as a little bit intense, maybe you come off as not interested at all, and it, it differs from person to person what they want, but I think just expressing the interest that you have is vital to any type of relationship. Communication is, is the base of any type of relationship. Be it just acquaintances, work buds, or, you know, uh, friends, more than friends, etc, etc. Communication is basis. And as long as you're honest with other people, then you have nothing to fear on your side. It doesn't mean that you're not gonna get hurt. 
people are prone to hurting you and you are prone to getting hurt if you get invested in any type of relationship. But it doesn't mean that you don't... that you should not try to get in a relationship at all anymore. That was a very big tangent and this is not stopping so let's sleep now. Uh... Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> life, life advice and stuff Pull bracelet. with cover. I've had it, I guess. Ooh, her bracelet! In Long Beach. Reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll nice. go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. I hear you. Arcadia Bay can suck a bag of dicks. Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! We're where? What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? <laughs> jump! Jump! Fuck it! Ow! The vibration of the controller tells me that I may have gotten hurt. That that has repercussions, but she did say jump, and we just said that we trust her, so she better remember that. <laughs> that's from Telltale. That's not that's that's not from these games.